State transition graphs are used to support memory in our system. So the state here is a description of the past and contains all the relevant information about the history that we need in order to solve our problem. And for each state and each input, we need to define two things. So for the state S here and the input X in our case, we need to define first what is the next state that we go to upon receiving this input and a new update in the system. And also we need to define what is the corresponding output that we get. The state transition graph is used to define a state machine. A state machine is defined by the five tuple M, which is given by I, S, Z, Delta and Lambda. And in this case, I is the input set. This is the set of possible inputs that we have in our system. S is the set of the states that we have in our system, while Z is the output set. So that is the set of all the outputs that we have in our system. Now we have two functions. So the function delta here is a mapping from the states and the inputs to the next state. So we have a state, we have an input, and then we go to a new state. Lambda here is a mapping from the state set and the input set to an output set. So this is called the output function here. So this is actually what we're trying to implement. We're implementing a state machine and we're using the state transition graph in order to describe the behavior of our machine.